Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah. If you are new here, Woo! today we are playing Legacy Challenge. Um, I am literally blown away at how many comments there were on the last video. Um, you guys seem to be fully invested in this and so am I. I was definitely looking forward to today's video. Um, but basically, majority of the comments was you guys saying that you think that Sarah should keep them. You think that she should either let the dad take care of them, let Evangeline take them, just basically like have her have the kids, but give the custody, quote unquote, to either a family member or the baby daddy. So we're gonna be exploring that today. We're gonna maybe talk to Ren about the situation because Ren is very old and wise and she might understand. Um, we'll talk to the baby daddy, obviously. And um, yeah, I think we'll just figure it out along the way. But yeah, I definitely take your guys' comments into consideration and 90% of you said that we should have them. That's the plan. Let's just get right into it, shall we? I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for commenting. Thank you for watching. I love you so much. Let's do this thing. All right, guys, here we are back in the compost households. Um, let's see. I know that the game audio has been really loud. I turned it down pretty significantly, so hopefully this isn't too low. I honestly can't really tell until after like when I'm editing, but I turned it down more than usual, so we'll see. <clears throat> okay, so we left off with Sarah just finding out that <laughs> she has an unwanted child on the way. Sarah did not expect to have a child and is really not sure that she wants it at all, but it's happening. What should she do? Holy cannoli. And then this one, pregnancy freak out. Uh, yeah, she went from having like the best night of her life to the worst night of her life, apparently, according to these moodlets. But um, let's just get her into her comfy clothes and have her have some breakfast because she's starving, honestly. I feel for her. She's probably freaking out so bad right now. Um, let's just have some fruit salad. I think that talking to Ren might be a good move. Uh, I really want to talk to Edison though because I feel like he might understand because he also went through the teen pregnancy thing and we all know how that turned out. But uh, yeah, I'm sure that there are some things that we can do. I think that we should probably talk to her I was gonna say boyfriend, but they're not even dating. Like, that was like their first date. Um, but a lot of you guys were saying that, like, this storyline really aligns with her. Just like chaotic drama, blah, rebellious, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, let's get her, her mood. Actually, can you have a moodlet solver? Because I really just want to, like, get into this right away. Does dad have a moodlet solver? Mm, energy? Oh, boost your skill gain. Mm, no, that's not what we want. Maybe I'll just buy one with Edison's reward. Do rewards points because he has so many. Um, it's only 500, so not too bad. Oh, just kidding. We already had 10 of them. In it. What am I doing? <laughs> I don't even know anymore. But maybe this moodlet solver will help like her her moodlets already, or her moodlets as well. Like these down here. Yeah, a lot of y'all were saying like, we have so much money, we should just get like a full-time nanny. And you guys are right, you really are. Um, I just thought that, you know, we haven't had an abortion yet in this challenge and there are some very like realistic aspects to doing that. Um, but yeah, I think that just for, uh, she made poor quality fruit salad. I'm so sorry, my girl. Um, just for like drama aspects of this challenge that we should just have them. Um, it could lead to something interesting in the future. Uh, oh, thanks, Wilson. <clears throat> All right, she's gonna have this moodlet solver. She's feeling a little bit, oh, uh, she's feeling confident now. That's pretty good. Okay, well, let's go ahead and travel somewhere and invite um, Emery. There are a couple comments that said Evangeline and Emery should take care of the babies. Holy crap, look at how many dogs this family has. Um, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Imagine having nine dogs. This house is big enough. I mean, it's probably like, <laughs> 
<laughs> a little little dog uh, rescue. Uh, let's go to this cafe with him and just, oh, she has a little bit of romance with Crystal too. That's interesting. Yeah, I hope that there's some like good dialogue options for this. Maybe Emery does want kids. Maybe he will be willing to take care of them. I don't know, we'll see. A lot of you guys said in the comments too, like having kids doesn't prevent you from living your life and achieving your dreams. And honestly, like I couldn't agree more. Um, I was just thinking like, if we did have the kids and she was raising them, then it would be really hard because you guys know how hard it is to take care of the kids in The Sims and like, I didn't, if she does have these kids, I wasn't thinking about her being like an absent mom. I always like being a good parent in The Sims, but like, that's not always the case, you know? We haven't really had that storyline either of just like a, an absent parent. So yeah, maybe we can do that and she will later in life want to like rekindle the relationship with her kids and like, since they're both female babies, they won't be the heir. So I don't know, man. I, I just don't know. Let's, uh, I just want, kind of want to sit and talk. I know they're at a cafe, so they're going to want to order like 50 million drinks, but let's just sit right here. Oh, she's feeling super flirty already. She's got that tense moodlet. All right, let's see what we can do. So we're gonna go to relationship showing pregnancy, pregnancy and family, announce unwanted pregnancy, share worries, uh, offer to go to counseling, mm, discuss possibility of terminating. Let's let's just ask him if he wants kids. See what he says about that. Mm. Um, I don't think I want kids at the moment. So I think he's like unsure about it. He doesn't necessarily not want them. I think that there's an unsure option. Let's just announce unwanted pregnancy and see what he says about that. And then the next thing we can do is talk about the terminating part. Discuss possibility of terminating. Huh? Oh, he didn't seem to take that right. He didn't seem to take that good at all. Um, there was no pop-up for that. They got negative. Okay, I really don't think that he likes the idea of terminating it. He seems to like... See that broken heart? <laughs> Sarah's partner fully understood how distraught she is at the news of this pregnancy because they feel the exact same way. It helps Sarah not feel alone in this experience. Okay. So apparently Emery <laughs> shares the same feels. Sick of fools. Okay, he's very tense about it now. I really want to see his moodlets. Bamo not having used birth control. Okay, that's the thing though. He did. Do not blame that on him. Discuss hopelessness. Fabinet <laughs> Lovo Bonnefi. She's freaking out and he's like, okay, calm down, calm down. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. Okay, well, that's basically all we can do with him. We figured out that he doesn't want babies either. Share worries. He's literally lying to us about his career right now. He said, I make so much money, like, I can support, I can support. Enough of the pop-ups about festivals. Alright, well, it looks like they're done talking. Um, we told him, and he's really not feeling good about it. Let's, uh... Let's go home and tell Ren and see what she says. I honestly don't know if she would like want to keep it a secret from everybody, like kind of like fall off the grid for a couple of days while she's pregnant and like, so no one knows, you know, and then have them and kind of just like pretend like nothing ever happened. I honestly don't know. Let's see what Ren has to say about it. Announced unwanted pregnancy to Ren. I really don't know if she'd tell her dad yet but she loves Ren so much. Like they've always been close even when she was a kid. So maybe she just feels comfy talking to her. Oh, secret conversation in the orchard, eh? <laughs> Floopy. Ren, I have something to tell you. Uh, 
I know I just aged up like two days ago. Oh, she's, they're both crying. But why? That's really sad. Um, I wonder if the options are gonna be the same. Express feelings. What can Ren do? She can only ask her about it. <laughs> She's like, what would you do in my situation? Like, honestly, I need some guidance here. Um, and then maybe Ren would say, does Evangeline want kids? Would be happy to have a child. Would be happy to have a child. Uh, does not want a child right now. Okay, Ren is kind of out of the picture to take care of them, to be honest. But it seems like, um... Nice of you to ask. I'm in my first trimester. I wasn't really wishing for a child right now. Pregnancy has its good days and bad days, but overall it's a beautiful experience. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yes. Jamie wants to go on a date with Evangeline, so I'm gonna say yes. I'm just gonna get her there and then switch control back to Sarah. I think maybe the best thing that we can do is cancel the current event. No. Talbo. Oh, let's ask him if he wants kids, because that is pretty important, too. I like having children. What? Why is Caleb calling? Casual friend time? I don't know. I think you belong with Ren, but hey, what do I know? <laughs> so they both want kids. That's actually, um, that's good. Okay, well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So yeah, I think that the best thing to do is for Sarah to have the kids and let Evangeline and her new man take care of them in their new place. And then maybe when Sarah's old enough, resume custody of them because yeah a lot of you guys said she like just aged up so she's probably like 15. Be huh. all right well it's sunday today tomorrow let's see yeah i think we're just gonna like take uh -huh. vacation days from school until we have the babies and also we just got a horse too <laughs> she's got so many responsibilities and so many things to worry about right now really really crazy oh another thing we need to like train the baby to eat from the hay thing i didn't know that you had to do this with uh with baby horses but you do you gotta train them to eat out of the hay thingy otherwise they'll never eat oh what's wrong with edison oh he's sad about a death okay well, if that's the plan that we're gonna give him to Evangeline, we should probably tell them both. She's going to chat with him anyway, so. Oh, oh my god. Ah. Ask if Edison ah. wants grandchildren. Oh my god, what if he says no? Let fate decide. A new grandchild? Yes, that would be wonderful. Aw, Edison's such a family man. I love it. Announce unwanted pregnancy. What is this? He's so mad. He's so mad at her. Oh my god. Ren cried. Edison yelled at her. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Help. Help. This sim has just learned about their teenage child being pregnant. Will they react well and offer support or react poorly and refuse to be supportive? I mean, Edison can't react poorly because he literally did the same thing, you know? And I just don't think that that's him. I don't think that's his character. So we're just gonna say react well and support. Um, oh, Ren's joining the conversation. Let's see Edison's moodlets here. Uh, quite the news. Shock takes over Edison's mind as he tries to integrate what he has just learned. His teenage child pregnant. What sort of madness? Uh, hold on. What sort of madness has made this happen? But now it's reality and everyone must shake off whatever feelings of judgment they may have and tackle this as an, as in, tackle this in an adult manner together and by supporting one another, they will figure this out. And then this one. Oh, Sims appreciate being around someone they adore. Okay, cute. Cute! 
All right, she's gonna go relax in the treehouse. I guess you guys said that your teen sims used the treehouse more than the kids did. And you can actually mess around in the treehouse, but I don't think we're gonna be doing any mess messing around for a while. You can refuse to make peace with the pregnancy. Let's actually go to counseling for this, for uh, the pregnancy. I know that you have to go a couple of times for it to make a difference, but I think this is probably the best thing to do. It's probably what Edison suggested, so it's just a little rabbit hole. Off she goes. Get Edison to harvest these crystals. See if uh, any of those will contribute to our collections. I love how there's just a pile of trash right when you walk in the house. It's lovely. You can't harvest them for some reason. Something in the way. So we can move them over here. Hopefully we have better luck. Oh, it looks like Sarah's back. Um, not ready for this. Sometimes the torturous nature of being pregnant at the time when you don't want a child hits you like a train. <clears throat> All right, very unfortunate. Okay, we got the crystals. It doesn't look like we got anything new for a collection. Really annoying. <laughs> Okay, so she got this, she inherited the, that random dancing. Uh, I wanna say that that's not an erratic thing. It's a dance machine thing. Oh, hey, look, Bellamy's here. All right, Edison is off to bed. Ren is sleeping. She has work in two days. Evangeline, let's see. She seems to be doing all right. Oh, look Delova how cute. It's so cute. Oh yeah, and a couple of you guys said that we should name the horse uh, uh, Dolly, like Dolly Parton. I think that would be really cute, actually. Super, super cute. I really like that name. So we'll we'll eventually change that. Um, what? How has word gotten out already? Freaking Emery is probably telling people. I heard you're pregnant. Aren't you ashamed at your age? The worry you're putting on your parents. You're too irresponsible to be a parent. Wow. Nicole, that's messed up. I think she's our cousin or something like that. I know that she's family. That's 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 really mean. Let's have a grilled cheese. Maybe that can be her her pregnancy craving. So for her aspiration, we need to just gossip one more time and then we'll be done with the first step. The first branch of this aspiration. Um, let's see. I don't know who that is. Oh yeah, one of you guys was asking about the um, marriage notifications pop up through MC Command Center. Let me try and find it for you guys. I'm pretty sure you have to go to the computer. Um, the settings on the computer for MC Command Center are different from the settings um, when you click your sim. So I think it would be under Let's see, is it population? Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is go to the first one, MCCC settings. Then you're gonna wanna go to gameplay settings. You're gonna wanna go to notification console menu settings, and then notification settings, and then MC pregnancy notifications, and then go to show marriage notifications. Um, so this, I have mine set to related to active household. So anyone that is even a little bit related to the compost household, I have the notifications on. Um, you can have it for people you have romance with. You can have it for all the sims in your save file, friends, played only, NPC only. Um, and then you can have it for pregnancy as well. I have it still related to active household. Um, birth notifications, all of that jazz, show relationship changes as well. And then uh, the pop-up that I have to like choose which last name um, sims get when they get married. Manually rename spouses and that is under other marriage settings in MC Pregnancy. MC Pregnancy is here towards the bottom. I hope that helps. Poor honey, she's so sad. She's in her second trimester. I'm gonna get her to take a vacation day from school. I really don't think that we should be going to school right now. I really don't. I really wish we could take like extended days off of school. You know what I mean? She still needs to tell Evangeline. She still needs to tell her mom. Um, yeah, we should probably just tell everyone at this point. Looks like Evangeline's up. These glow trees are so cool at night. I love them. Okay, let's go ahead and tell Evangeline. Um, 
Announce unwanted pregnancy. See how Evangeline reacts. I don't know if you can tell, but I got a little bit of a bump right now. <laughs> I can't keep it a secret any longer. Sarah likes compliments. That tracks. She's crying. So both her and Ren cried. Off to bed with you. It's like 6 a.m. Edison's up and he's feeling playful. Oh no. Another death call for Rocky? Dude, how many of those are we gonna get? Let's look at the calendar, see what we got. Meet a celebrity, GeekCon. I think GeekCon might be fun to go to with Edison. I feel like that's something he would definitely go to. Maybe uh, with Evangeline as well. They're both geek. Gerba? Warble. I can't believe you. You threw trash on the ground and then you started complaining about the trash on the ground immediately after. I will never understand. Ever. Edison's feeling pretty good. Maybe we should go on another blind date. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if this one works out. I haven't given up yet. A lot of y'all said that maybe he was just like so enamored with Teddy at one point and that's just his type that's what he likes and nothing is really uh <laughs> comparing um but this is who we got for our blind date never seen him before but uh let's see where shall we go my voice is a little crackly today i apologize for that but i feel like i'm like Ahem. the last time we went to a restaurant it worked out like surprisingly well I don't know <laughs> if it's gonna work out uh, again, but I guess we'll find out. Go to this outdoor restaurant in Strangerville. It's a nice day today, why not? Okay, hello, what is your name? Da Davion? Davion? Oh, also, one of you guys said that Emery is related to us somehow. You said that Emery is Bellamy's child? Oh no! Oh god! How was that even possible? Why did the game even allow that? Okay, well, now... <laughs> now my feelings towards everything have changed. Okay, so let me break it down for you. This is the generation where we had to have 10 kids. Bellamy is Stella's son, okay? Stella is Zoe's mom. So Bellamy is Zoe's brother. Zoe's child is Edison, so Bellamy is Edison's uncle. So, oh my God, that is so up. I can't even I can't deal it's too much I don't even know why the game is allowing that it shouldn't like why is it not registering as freaking family bro I can't okay it's not letting me like view the panel right now cuz okay yeah it's Edison's cousin okay yeah no that can't be allowed I'm sorry we can't we can't do it I have to end it Store maybe like Edison found out who it is and told her that she needs to, uh, so, so. she needs to, you know, end it. Loyal, family oriented, and self assured. I mean, him's pretty handsome. Let's see what Edison thinks. So, so. So, so. Oh my god. Seriously, dude? He doesn't think anyone's attractive. Unattractive, and I'm pretty uh, sure he thinks Teddy's unattractive too now. Perceived as basic looking. And we're still dating. Ay. I think we need to end it, honestly. I do. Okay, I need to end this. I'm sorry. We tried. But we need to go home. I don't know how you guys catch this stuff. Because, like... <laughs> I literally had no clue. Um, you guys really notice everything. 
Like you notice that Jordan, the one with the heterochromia and vitiligo, one of Sarah's friends, is actually Kieran's son. I, it's so hard to find a sim that's like not related to the legacy house at all because our, our family tree is so big that it's like someone could be family and I had would have no idea. All right, let's pay the bills real quick. Uh. All right, so here we are back home. She's just about to watch some romance. The poor thing. All right, so let's see. It's $500. I'm really sorry if you guys don't agree with this choice, but uh, I think it's for the best, to be honest. Like, I was so on the fence about it anyways, but now that we know that... <laughs> Uh, now that we know that, uh, yeah, it's like distant family, I just, I can't, I can't let this go on. I just can't. Polite is right. Indeed it is. Oh, what's wrong, baby? What do you need? I wonder how oh. she's gonna feel after. Rocky is very sad because of all the deaths. I don't even know who died, but, uh, yep. That's why the poor pup is so sad all the time. Um, I give him plenty of attention, but his sad moodlets never go away. I heard you are preg- Not our mom saying that too. Aren't you ashamed? You're too irresponsible. Wow, that's crazy coming from you. That is crazy. Sarah is in a blur of feelings as the termination of pregnancy is happening. Oh, looks like we got some new crystals for our collection from the tree this time. That's amazing. How are we doing with that crystal collection? 18 out of 20. Let's go. That's so exciting. We'll, we'll finish that collection in no time. Aww. Look at the little baby in the barn. So small. So cute. Ah, Evangeline really needs some fun in her life. Ugh, I had a shower. All right, what skill are we working on? Sarah can now take family leave. Oh god, she's so angry. I thought she would feel like uncomfortable or something, but let's see. Sarah's termination of pregnancy was made really difficult by the people outside the family planning hospital who were criticizing her and yelling. They have no idea what she has been going through. She'll be relieved eventually, but for now she is in shock and angry. All right, we need to get Emery over here and tell him and then like cool off the romantic relationship. He's also a young adult now. So yeah, he's like, she's 15. That makes him like what, 20, 21? Hi, Karumba. This is a mess, you guys. This is an absolute mess. Oh, work it, girl. What? Yes. Yes. Yebs. Yebs. Why does it sound like they're arguing? Okay, he's here. Pause, 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 pause. We need to tell him what happened and cool this off. Um, so, announce termination. That's really the only moodlet that- wait, what's this? Shared joy and high confidence. Okay, that's weird. I thought she would have a lot more moodlets from the procedure, but I guess not. Maybe they'll come later, I don't know. Warig! Balanila. Anna Herb. Nibna. Asked to be just friends. He seems fine about it, he didn't really react. He's probably as relieved as we are. All right, now they're just friends. That's all taken care of. Um, wait, why do they still have romance? Doesn't that usually disappear? I think we can like, let me see. I think there's an option to... Mm, decide not to interact romantically with Sam. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if he'll show up because he is a young adult now, but I don't. I don't think they'll do it because he's a young adult. Boy. Oh, there it is. <sighs> All right. Well, you can go now. I'll be seeing you. Kaluba. Uh huh. Ooh. Swift no Bobna. Boo. Oh. He's trying to be romantic with us and she is not taking it. What the hell? 
Awkward encounter, that was awkward. Say something from having a crush, oh my gosh, honey. How do we get over a crush again? Isn't there like a way that we can do it? Try to get over crush, Emery. Yeah, we need to like end that, we need to nip it. She's jotting it down in her journal, her little notepad that Try as she might, Sarah can't get over Emery. Ay, caramba. But honey, it's for the best. You don't understand. Okay, she's gonna go relax now. Sleep it off. Gosh darn, guys, what a day. I honestly think that she would probably be celibate after all of this. And I think, I think this would be a very traumatic experience for her. I really do. So, um, you guys said that it would be like, it would align with the story if Sarah did dabble in some, some drugs. I always try to may assign the dealer as, um, as someone that I will always remember, you know? Uh, I usually do Agatha Crumplebottom. <laughs> um, but I don't think she exists in the save file anymore. Oh, sorry, I meant Agnes, but Agatha is still alive. So we could do Agatha. I, I literally won't ever forget that. So there's that. Man. What? This has been honestly crazy. It has been a wild ride. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I would think that she would like feel better about the whole situation because um, because she didn't want the child to begin with. I don't know, it just it doesn't uh, seem that way. All right, there's one more skill that I want to max before moving her out and that is comedy. So I'm gonna try and get her mood up real quick so that we can uh, work on that a little. And then for Edison skills, we were working on, were we even working on anything? Video gaming, that's right. All right, well, he's just gonna eat some coconut rice. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That sounds so good. I'm gonna get him to make a, take a mood solver actually, cause I want him to max video gaming and get that over with. Oh my gosh, Luis is pregnant. Aw, this is one of Edison's friends. She's in the club with us. Who is your baby daddy? I need to know. Sullivan Shimizu. No idea who that is. Looks like Kieran's here too. Sarah's just uh, resting. She's sleeping it off. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense why Jordan is a vampire. I don't know why he doesn't live with Kieran though. That's kind of interesting. All right, Sarah's up. Have not forgotten. Sarah's mind goes back to the recent pregnancy experience or debacle on its own accord. And then true relief. This is over now, completely over. They'll be more careful in the future to never let this happen again. All right, she's gonna go take a bath, but I really want to like, because we can decide to be celibate, and I think she would probably do that after this extremely traumatic experience she just went through. What happened to the bathtub? Oh my god. Um, yeah, decide to be celibate right here. Sarah has made a decision about celibacy. If you guys don't know what cel celibate means, it just means that you're not, you don't have woohoo ever with anyone. <laughs> okay. I'm, pro I'm sure Edison probably already knows, but I think that there's something that we can say to him about it. Edison is the one that told her about Emery, because I think Edison would probably be the only one who knows. And uh, yeah, he probably told her to do this, to be honest. Warig! Valenila. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we should give her a hug. Just make her feel a little better. You know? Wadisa! That poor thing. She seems fine though. She seems back to normal, back to the way that she was before. With me. Okay, Sarah. Well, let's eat some of this coconut rice that. Wait, what? I thought he made some. What happened? Guess we're gonna make some more. Alright, he did it. He maxed it. Good on you. Okay, she's got class in three hours. Gotta make sure to eat and do our homework. Coconut rice for breakfast honestly sounds so good. I've never made it in the rice cooker before, but... Oh my god, that sounds so good right now, guys. <laughs> oh man. 
Oh, let's just delete this prom picture as well. Don't want that anymore. Oh yeah, and let's put these uh, prom royalty pics up in her bedroom. Let's give this one to our dad. And we'll hang this one up in here. All right, Ren, you are absolutely going to work today. You're going to get that last promotion. <laughs> oh, geez. Such a wild ride. Let's join her today and work on her aspiration a little bit. I hope we don't see Emery. No, Emery's a young adult now. He won't be at school anymore. That's good for us. All right, Ren, have a good day at work. I'm gonna need you to work hard if you aren't already. Heard you became friends with Emery. No, 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 no. Time and place. Time and place. Who's this? Darian Colette? Kaylee is the one that was being mean to us last time we were at school. Not talking to her anymore. No, thank you. Suli. <laughs> Suli, how are you? Sula, Sula. Oh, Gimbo. <laughs> he thinks Nora, no, Nora, Noah is cute, and Dana. They're playing football right now, so I don't think we can introduce ourselves, but. Him's bald. He seems like a nice boy. We just need to gossip one more time, so let's gossip with Noah, our new friend. I can't- who takes a selfie right in the middle of class? I ain't never seen that in my life. Wait, what? It's not done? Be mean on Social Bunny five times and break up with the sim. That sucks. Um, be mean on Social Bunny. How? Mean message about lunch? Gross, can this cafeteria food look any worse? That didn't count. Do we have to be mean, like, specifically towards a sim? Where's Kaylee at? That's someone we can be mean to, because she was mean to us first. Mean message. Ooh. We can just do it to her five times? Ooh, can we... No, I don't want to post about homework. I want to tag a sim. Tag Kaylee. Mean. What did we post? If I had a simoleon every time Kaylee was cool, I'd be broke. Yes. Sheesh, brutal. Okay, we have to break up with the sim now, so that means we have to date someone. I honestly don't think that would be what she's focusing right focusing on right now. <laughs> Maybe we should give it a couple days. Um, let's see. Her birthday isn't for a long while. We've got plenty of time, so... Yeah, I don't know, maybe like... Maybe around Christmas time, like when winter starts, it's quote-unquote cuffing season, so... <laughs> maybe we can wait until then. It's summer, so maybe she'll just like have some fun hanging out with her friends and um, getting into some, some uh, nonsense. Oh, she's sitting with Noah. Interesting. We have to be friendly with a faculty member as well, so why don't we just say hello to the lunch lady. She completely left her post to come talk to us. Look at this mood that she has right now. Fury of the trolls, some people can be so mean. You were literally the one being mean. Like, come on girl, stop playing the victim. Sarah was about to start dozing off when another student passes her note and points at another student. Sarah didn't even know passing notes was still a thing with social media and phones. Does Sarah continue the note chain or maybe add some changes to the note? <gasps> I think she would add changes to start some drama. Sarah added a few scribbles she thought would cause a laugh, but then no one was happy about it. All Sarah got for additions was a little irritation from her classmates. Oof! All right. Sarah turned in some good work today and took some good notes as well. And then prom is coming again. Bro, triggered. We're not going to prom again, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're just not. We don't have the best track record with prom. <sighs> All right, ma'am, you're in a pretty good mood, so why don't we go out with our friends today? Maybe we can go to this park in San Myshuno with her friends and um, see what we can get into. All right. 
These are just some kids that she knows from school, and then I ended up starting a club gathering as well. So all of her like friend friends uh, should show up too. I really want to tell Aubrey about our uh, our experience because she seems to be like one of our best friends. They have like the highest relationship along with uh, Crystal and Avery, but her and Crystal have some romance. We could uh, explore that further if we want to. I actually think you can grab a drink from fridges, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, you totally can. Let's get her her favorite drink. May, the principal. I heard you're pregnant, aren't you ashamed? I can't, not the principal. It's okay, we got it taken care of. Like, stop worrying about it. <laughs> All right, Ren maxed the lawyer career. Good for you. That is pretty amazing. Oh no, Jordan, you're sizzling. What else do we need to do for this besides break up? Have an enemy rival. I think that should definitely be Kaylee because she was mean to us, so she started it, you know? Oh, there's Aubrey. She finally showed up. Just tell her about it. Generally curious to see what she'll say. Oh my god, what was that? I've never seen that before. That little interaction. What is this? He has a crush on Crystal. Ooh, ee. That's weird. She announced it to Aubrey and the relationship flew down so much. But why? She, she must have been against it. Interesting. <laughs> what is that? Two sims sitting in the same chair? I- Where are you guys going? Oh, they left. Okay, bye. Uh -huh. What? What did she just say? Announce termination of pre- She's just telling everybody! Why are you telling everybody? Be yelled at. This is the mean and high maintenance sim. He's screaming at us. Okay, I made one of her friends a dealer too. For uh, easy access in case we wanted it. Um, it's not cheap, is it? Oh my gosh, we can buy a fake ID from him. But Sims can drink whatever they want. So I don't know what the point of that is. I'm gonna go home. We were able to get some cannabis from our friend here. So uh, we can try that out later. There's usually like a- ooh, a raise, nice. There's usually like a little like head shop that you can go to on your phone um, where you can buy like cigarettes and stuff like that, but it's not showing up for teens. I guess I get it. We are doing a lot of controversial stuff in this episode. <laughs> uh, but honestly, like that's- that is life. That is life. I want our horse to age up so that we can start riding her. All right, let's get her to go to bed. She is sobering up from drinking. She's just gonna head straight to sleep. She doesn't want anyone to smell it on her. Hello, I'm going to bed. Good night. Go! Oh my God, help. Why is she walking so close to him? No way. Do you guys remember earlier in the episode when Nicole messaged us and said, you're pregnant? at your age, that's super irresponsible, blah, blah, blah. Look who's pregnant now! Crazy! And are you not a teen as well? I am 100% sure that you are, but let me just double check. Oh, she's a young adult now. Okay, excuse me, my bad. My bad! <laughs> All right, Sarah's up, 622. She's getting ready for school right now. Um, I really don't know, like, how seriously she would take school. <sighs> I don't think I've ever had a sim, like, drop out of high school before. Like, I've had them get, like, D's and F's, but they still graduated. But, like, now that I know that you can talk to the principal and drop out, 
Maybe that's something that we can do too. Especially if she starts focusing on um, like the horse riding things and competitions and training and all that jazz. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, jeez. She seems really happy though. Like she's vibing. She just needs a little bit of fun and food. I don't know. I'm glad that she's getting past this. I wonder if it shows up like anywhere here. Bought drugs, first woohoo, got drunk, prom royalty, got a horse, achieved pristine reputation. Uh, I'm gonna send her alone today. Fell in love, made a best friend. Her emotional control is really, really bad though. Wait, Ren, you max lawyer career, right? You are level 10. Oh! Ren has received a note from an anonymous source with a threat. If she doesn't throw the case, sensitive information about Ren's past will be released to the public. If she loses the case, justice will have failed and a criminal will go free. But if the damaging information is released, Ren's career could be at risk. Should Ren get ahead of it and reveal her past themselves or should she throw the case and keep her secret safe? Um... Well, I don't want a criminal to go free, so obviously we're going to reveal the secrets. And we're going to get a new job anyways, because we just maxed this one. It was a tough decision, but it felt great to finally let go of her secrets. Ren's firm isn't pleased, but she still has her job. On a brighter note, Ren's been approached by a publisher interested in a book about the recent events. Ren happily accepts the offer along with a nice simoleon advance to help her get started. Wow, look at that, getting her getting a book opportunity that's freaking amazing let me just log uh this max career in sims tree really quick also the skills that have been maxed too let's log those all right so ren uh i think i'm gonna bring her home this is it you made partner you're at the heim of the most prestigious law firm in the world Generating revenue for the firm falls to you, so start by bringing in clients, and remember the more clients you represent, the higher your profit sharing will be. Alright, well, that doesn't really matter anymore. Um, oh my gosh, she's almost a five-star celebrity. I didn't even realize that. She's like super fa famous. Alright, girly pop. Yes, come home. Let's go ahead and quit your job as a lawyer because you're sick of it. Um... And let's find you something else. Even though I love these career outfits on you, they look so good. So, yep, I'm done. I got to the top. I don't want any more. Thank you. It's been a slice. It really has. But I'm on to bigger and better things, you know? No, Ren, please don't. You're one of our best lawyers. I, I know. I know. Have a good one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's next? What is next? Maybe she lived the lawyer life and just represented all of these unsavory sims and just really took an interest on the, uh, like, actually arresting people and actually, like, solving crimes aspect of being a lawyer. So I think that a natural transition from that would be detective. Uh, this career is actually really cool. If you've never played it before, you can actually go to work with them. We probably won't do it in this challenge, but it's a really fun career. So I think we should do that next. We started at level four, which is pretty amazing. She already changed her outfit. She's like, what's up? New job. Look at me go. My cop, my cop uniform. Uh, <laughs> All right, so we're working on that. Eddie, oh, you had a phone call, but I missed it. Sorry, bud. All right, go get that hygiene up, and we will attempt another blind date. I think we should just keep doing this until he eventually finds someone that he likes. It's going to be really hard because he's extremely picky, but I'm actually curious what his preferences are again. I honestly totally forgot. So he likes men and women, whatever in between. Um, preferred age, does he have one? No. Um, hair. Okay, he likes black hair, brown hair, and white hair. No dislikes. Hair length long. 
hair type. He doesn't like straight or curly hair. Okay. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Details, eye color. He likes unnatural eyes, but no dislikes. Skin details, he likes freckles and tattoos. He likes average and high body muscle. He likes big boobs. <laughs> he likes big booties. <laughs> uh, what outfit style do you like? Hipster, okay. He likes hats, glasses, jewelry, makeup. He doesn't like piercings though, or has no preference on piercings. All right, well, there's gotta be someone like that out there for you. And yeah, and his fun and social is really low. So yeah, I think this is a good time to hit a blind date. Okay, whoever this is has black hair. So we may have something here. Let's see, let us see. Let's go to Nobu. <laughs> yes, I have a Nobu in my game. <laughs> so silly. If you guys don't know what Nobu is, it's like this. I think it's sushi. I've never been because it's ridiculously expensive. But Mr. Edison here, multi-million dollar man, he can afford it. All right. Let me have a look at you. <laughs> wow. She's beautiful. She's got short hair, so I don't think he'll be into it because he likes long hair, but I don't know, man. Maybe maybe he'll like her. He showed up in his suit. So, so. So. Oh, she's so. cringe and she's a slob. What about your third trait? Why is she glowing like orange? So. <laughs> what? Morgan Ham is her name. Yanabi. Okay, he does he doesn't find her attractive, dude. Why is this so difficult? Oh my gosh. Oh, Vene. Cringe and slob though. That's wild. What is that? What did you just give her? Did you guys see that? Why did it look like a computer chip? I'm so confused right now. Oh, they just did something romantic. I missed it though. What? What? No, 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 no. They're going to woohoo. Please stop. Don't do it. Please don't. Oh, thank God. I caught it just in time. They were about to woohoo in that stinking pile of leaves. I'm sure that was her d idea because she's a slob and like that doesn't like, she doesn't care, but holy crap. No, with my risky woohoo on, uh-uh, that ain't happening, bro. That is not happening. That's wild, guys. <laughs> Imagine if I didn't catch that. Oh my God, no, not Whitney. Oh my god, this is the girl that we went on a blind date with last time. She's like, oh, there's that guy I was telling you about. He's here with another woman. I don't know who this is, but she's really, really pretty. Look at that side profile. Jeez, what's her name? I know that she's bald, but like... Aubrey. Aubrey Carson? How do we already have a full bar with you? Oh, look at these guys. Oh, is that? It's Colby! That's one of Felix's kids. I think this might be his wife. Mimosas for both of them! And then... Hmm, this doesn't look very expensive. Um... I guess we'll just both get a steak. I don't know, man. It's supposed to be like a seafood restaurant, but this is not giving seafood at all. Aubrey Carson. Oh, she's married. And he thinks she's unattractive. Okay, great. Perfect. Oh, also, you guys were mentioning in the comments of the last video that he did think that... Where is he? Elliot? Yes, Elliot from my Stardew. Perceived as attractive and their best friends? When did that happen? 
Okay, well, we can try going on a date with him to... Oh my god, Bellamy's here. I think our date left. Oh, nope, she's back. She just, she appeared out of nowhere. All right, well, this uh, restaurant date is not going as well as the last one. <laughs> Thank oh. you. Thank you so much. This is uh, Rohan Carson. This is actually that one bald girl's husband. <laughs> I love how everyone's always around the same time. Is that Marnie? Oh, it is. It's not experimental food, so we can't take a picture of it, which kind of pisses me off, but hey. We have plenty of time. I'm just kind of getting through this date. Treat her to a nice meal, but... Uh, he doesn't think she's attractive, so there's no point. Well, it was nice to meet you. I hope that you enjoyed your lunch slash dinner. I will see you around. Another gold date, though. That's pretty good. The pumpkins, how cute. I think that's the farmer's market I place. We should definitely go there on a day where it's not raining. How are you doing, Sarah? She's feeling real scared of the storm right now. All right, well, let's, uh, let's go in the greenhouse real quick. We came here for one reason and one reason only, so no one would bother us. <laughs> in the greenhouse. Get it? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Oh my god, I can't. This is too funny. Alright, let's see how she feels about it. It made her energized, which is pretty cool. Ah! Holy crap, look at her. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Not the gardener watching, watching us in there. Level 4 temperament. She will be less likely to buck when being ridden. That's amazing. Edison, you're not being romantic with Ren, are you? Not yet. I'm a little bit scared about that. I think we can set that. Oh, they're just kicking a soccer ball. It's very uh, innocent right now, but we can decide not to interact romantically with Sim and we can pick who we should do that with. So yeah. Do you also want to remove existing romance points? Yes, erase that. All right, that's amazing. Wish I had that earlier. Oh, Evangeline, do you mind giving uh, Rocky a bath? Ask for advice. Are you sure you want to talk to Edison right now? It's almost Edison's birthday. Holy canole. He's gonna be an adult. What is this? Cannabis induced euphoria. Don't worry about a thing. Woo. Well, there she goes, living her rebellious lifestyle. It's happening. I'm gonna get her to take. Oh, Evangeline's in a rocky bath. Just kidding. Jk, Jk. Edison likes pranks. All right, I'm okay with that. Does Sarah have any skills? Bowling, mischief, and logic. <laughs> hmm. That's pretty cool. Bowling's a level five. Maybe we should go work on that. Let's go with Crystal. And Rodolfo. I totally forgot about Geekon. I'm pretty sure it already passed. I really wanted to go to that, but I was very distracted. Alright. I would love for her to max bowling. I think that's pretty sick. Mentally relaxed. Look at you go. Alright, bullet- Oh my god. Uh-oh. Wait, Edison is here with us? Why? I didn't invite him. Are you wasted? Seriously, you're in so much trouble. Am I though? Like, what are you actually going to do, dad? Tell me, what are you going to do? I don't understand why he's here. I didn't even invite him. Oh! He's like, I'll let you hang out tonight, but as soon as you get home, you are, you're grounded. Yeah, grounded! How do you, I wonder, how do you ground people? How do you ground people in The Sims? 
Your sim is checking out the hot spots at the venue and the hot spots looking good. Oh my god. Oh no, Edison is really angry right now. Okay, she's uh, bowling level 4. She's really finding her balance and will fail less often when throwing the ball. Sarah will start to throw more strikes as well. Can she pick up her first turkey? I don't know. Can't can we like pick a ball? Do we have to like buy a bowling ball or something? Oh my gosh, she's about to max it right now. Why is it going up so fast? Is this just like a really easy skill to max? That's crazy. She's a true queen pin. Having perfected her bowling form and skill, she can now choose the clear skull bowling ball. Adults will now wear a bowling glove while playing, and all ages will throw strikes in a more consistent basis. It's time to start thinking about acquiring Sarah's perfect... Wait, first perfect llama game of 10 strikes. Uh... Oh my god, help. So many pet adoptions. Who died though? I keep getting death sounds, but the phone never rings. Bruh. Sarah bowled a game of 198. Okay. Nice. Well, there we go. We max bowling. That's pretty sick. Can't remember the last time we max bowling. Probably with Rem. Um, Mischief will probably be the next skill that we max for her. I'm not really sure. Horse riding. Horse riding. Yes. One. I just need the horse to age up. I wonder if we can age it up now. Like early. Aww. Slight depression. Edison is depressed because Sarah is taking a turn for the worst. I think we need to have a conversation. Is she seriously mopping? Lecture about using drugs. I mean, she looks pretty okay now. I think she's sobered up. It's been a while, but... Sorry for yelling at you in front of your friends, but listen. Listen to me close. <sighs> Look at this horse backing out of the barn. Ushi. What? Oh. <laughs> She's like, um... Sure, Dad. Sure, Jan. I'm not mad. I'm just very disappointed. This will not happen again. Uxenau. Maybe, maybe Uxenau. not. Uxenau. Oh, yips. Where's this horse at? Can we age you up? Oh. Maybe we can do it through MC Command Center. Um, okay, it looks like she's gonna age up in two days. So I'm just gonna age her up now. Oh, whoa. Oh, that was really scary to- Dude, who? Freddy? That's her grandpa. What happened? I didn't think he was an elder. Oh my god, I guess so. Oh! <gasps> Oh man. Death by old age. I think we should probably go visit our mom. Whew. All right, let's mount this baby and work on our horse riding skill a little. Poor thing is so sad. Sarah's newfound horse riding skill will grow as she rides horses with high levels of horse riding skill. Uh, Sims gain powerful moves from riding, are more likely to win competitions at the equestrian center, and are less prone to getting buffed off their horse. Alright. Let's go! Our first ride on this horse. How exciting is that? I think they look so silly riding a horse though. Like, I don't know if it's because she's such a low level, but... <laughs> she looks pretty silly if you ask me. Alright, let's pick up the pace a little, shall we? Hey, get back here. All right, never mind. She's got school. I'm sending her alone again. Looks like we got another crystal for our collection. All right, well, I think, what is this from? Oh shoot, the thermostat. I think I'm gonna leave this part right here, guys. Oh man, it's been quite the episode. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry that it didn't work out the way the majority of you wanted it. I just did what I thought was best for her. 
and uh yeah just leave me comments let me know what you think let me know what you, what you think we should do in the next episode uh i read all of your comments on every single video so thank you so much for for just writing these elaborate lovely comments about the story it really makes me happy like truly i love you guys so much and i'll see you very soon with another video bye